Hey friends, it's Mike here, Guitar Tricks. In this video, I'd like to talk about a concept known as string skipping. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell. And while you're at it, hit that like button. It would really help out. Now, back to the lesson. To do this, I'm going to look at the A minor pentatonic box scale, fifth position, fifth and eighth fret of the low string, fifth and seventh fret of the A, D, and G strings, and then the fifth and eighth fret of the top two strings. Now we can play this scale using this concept of string skipping, and it's just how it sounds. We're gonna skip a string as we go up the scale. So we would start on the low string, skip the next string, go up to the D string, skip the next string, go up to the B string, and then maybe come down. Gives a totally different sound, right? You can put this together, this idea, in all sorts of different ways. For example, all right, so what is this good for? First of all, it just sounds cool, sounds a little bit different. Second of all, it's good for your picking. It's really gonna burn in getting used to skipping around the strings and keeping a nice even timing and smoothness with your picking. So if this is new to you, you wanna start slow and make sure that you're getting it correctly and just burn it in a little bit and gradually increase the speed as you get used to it. Okay, so. Now you don't have to just pick all of this, right? You can use uh, hammer-ons, pull-offs, legato type playing. All right, great way to strengthen up your hammer-ons, maybe your pull-offs. And of course you can use this in all types of scale shapes and patterns. For example, uh, where this works really great is a three note per string major scale pattern that's a symmetrical one that normally if you picked it just ascending up and down through the scale, it might catch you a little bit because it actually repeats a note. Uh, I'll use it in A major to demonstrate. It's the fifth, seventh, and ninth fret of the low two strings. Then it goes to the sixth, seventh, and ninth fret of the middle strings, and then back to the fifth, seventh, and ninth frets of the top two strings. So you have this totally symmetrical pattern. <laughs> And you might have heard it, there's a note in there that's played twice. It's the E note at the ninth fret of the G and also at the fifth fret of the B. But if you use string skipping and kind of use this pattern, because we're skipping around, you won't even notice that that note happens twice because it's broken up with different notes in between. <laughs> Or if you're using legato. Okay, so just jumping around a little bit, giving a cool sound and working on your picking or working on your legato type playing, coming up with some cool improvisation leads, maybe some licks, maybe even some melodies or riffs. Hope you found this useful and helpful. We'll see you on the next one. What other tips would you like to see here on this channel? Please leave a comment and let me know. And be sure to check out guitartricks.com for more in-depth, step-by-step lessons.